Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will be doing the lesson number 19 of Arabic alphabet series. So let's begin. Today we will be doing the next two Arabic alphabets. These are the last of Arabic alphabets. So after this you don't have any other Arabic alphabets left. The first one is Ha and then the second one is Hamza. Ha is kind of like H but it's different from the Ha that we learned in Jim Ha Kha. This is Ha and this is Ha and as you can see even the way we write it is different. We don't write the Jim Ha Kha like this. We write this. This is only the Ha sound. It is not the Ha is a Ha. Hamza is like the letter A except that it's not a vowel. Fatha is the A vowel in the Arabic. It is a consonant. Hamza is not a vowel, it's a consonant. It just has a sound like the letter A. Okay? Hamza is the only letter whose name doesn't reflect on how it sounds. Like when we say Hamza, there is no there is no indication of that it sounds like a. Uh. There is no indication. Whereas if you see ha or if you see ha, we can see that there is an indication on how they sound. But Hamza doesn't have that indication. The pronunciation of ha and hamza. So in English, of course, this depends on the different places. Different places have different pronunciation. But the English H, the breath starts from the center of your mouth. It doesn't start from your throat. It doesn't start from anywhere except the center of your mouth. You can try it and see it's H. And then in the Arabic, the ha, this kind of ha, it starts from the middle. The ha, it's, you know, from the throat completely from your throat but this is her this kind of her which we are learning today the breath starts from the bottom of your throat it doesn't start from the middle it's not her it's her it's from the bottom or you can even say that it's on the chest some people call it from the chest and some people there is the bottom of your throat so it's that sound the lower part sound the her it's not her it's not like sharp but it's like dull her hamza has the same sound as the vowel a the A letter in the English, we did this in the previous slide, the Hamza has the same sound as that. In Arabic, the sound A, the sound of A, is pronounced by Hamza followed by Fatha. So, Hamza by Fatha. So, if you see in the Arab, in English, when you say B, the sound of B is not B, it's B. When we tell the sound, the phonetic, phonetics, it's B. It's not B, it's B. So, what you're doing in B, you're adding a a you're adding an a to the b similarly in arabic since hamza is a consonant we just don't tell a what we do to tell a is we add the fatha vowel just like in english we add the a vowel in the arabic we add the fatha vowel in english this whole sequence is considered a vowel in english there's a separate vowel for all this but for us the vowel is only the fatha and the sound that produces the vowel is hamza the consonant which produces the correct A sound is the Hamza followed by Fatha. Symbol? When Hamza is sakin, it sounds like an abrupt jerking noise. This is seen in many places, but for example, it's seen in the word Bitsa. Can you see Bitsa? It's not flowing. It's not at all flowing. It's a jerking noise. Bitsa. So here's an example for you. So as you can see, there is ba with hamza, ba kasra hamza sukun, be be. Can you see that abrupt jerking noise? This is what we mean. When hamza comes as a sakin, it's an abrupt noise. Be sa. Okay, the four forms of ha. This is this is important. Along with these, there are many other forms of ha. Okay, like I've told here, ha has different typing and writing forms. There's like many many different sort of her so you, this is one type of her and then this is one type can you see even in the typing there's difference this is one type of her and this is one type and then in the beginning okay fine this is fine but in the middle there's another kind of her which is like this it goes like a, a, a v or something like that it goes like that this is also seen in many um, many types of writings that's why in her it's re you really can't put all of them in one category this is also the middle her and this also can be a middle her and in the end also they can be her like this or they can be a her like this this is also a her at the end okay and this beginning if you see 
this type and this type both of these middle forms they only happen if there is a letter connecting so if there's another letter which does not connect like um, wow or raw then the beginning form will become the middle form this is seen in the word wahaba that will be the first example wahaba okay wahaba If you see, look at this Wahaba, you find that this is like this, the beginning. Even if it's at the middle, it's like at the beginning. This is because the previous letter is not connecting. So then in Ha, there's really many, many kind of differences. So the only, the best way to actually learn all of them is by practicing. You just need to look at this and practice every one of them, even while writing or reading for identification purpose or for making the creation of the word purpose. It's all the it's all the different forms and you can't tell any one form is right or other form is wrong it's like you know the uppercase and the lowercase as compared this to the uppercase and the lowercase in the English language you can't tell they are wrong like that similarly in the case of her they are different types and they are different rules as we can see over here so that's why the really the best part, the best way to identify and write her is by looking at these different forms and then practicing them Okay, so the common confusion is the ta marbuta and the ha. As we know, at the end of the word, the ta marbuta can come look off as a ha because sometimes when the previous word does not connect with it, ha looks like this. And these two are similar. This can be considered as ha, but it's not actually a ha. This is actually a ta marbuta. We already know this. It's a ta marbuta. And the difference obviously is in the dots. Okay, so if the ta marbuta, I mean if the thing that looks like a ha, it has dots on top, then that's not ha, that's ta marbuta and it will be pronounced like ta marbuta. This kind of ta, this ta marbuta only comes at the end of the word and in certain specific words. It doesn't come everywhere, it comes only in few different words, okay? And that's uh, that's a di separate discussion. Wherever it comes, it's a separate discussion. All For our purposes, all we need to know is that it is not ha. When a sukun is put on this kind of term, it's pronounced as ha with sukun. But this is confusing, okay? This is normally a ta, okay? If you put a fatha, kasra, or dhamma, wherever you put it, becomes a ta. Ta, ti, tu. This is how it will be pronounced. But if you put a sukun on this, then it will be considered a ha and pronounced like a ha with a sukun. So it will give the ha sound, okay? Like if I take an example. This is Kuratun. Okay. Now, if I put a Fatha on this, it will become Kurata. If I become a, if I put a Kasra, it will become Kurati. If I become, if I put a Bama, it will become Kuratu. But if I become, if I put um, a Sukun, it will become Kurra. It will not become Kurra, Kurrat. It will not become kurrat, it will become kurra. The only time where ta acts like a ha is when it has sukun on top. Just remember it like that. If ta has a, if ta has a sukun on top, it is pronounced as kurra. It is pronounced with a ha sukun, okay? Alright, now before we go on to Hamza, I want you to do some practice. So this will be, you know the drill, I'm going to do this twice and then first time you're going to listen and then you're going to pause the video and do it yourself and come back to me. So let's get started. Ha, alif, ha, noon, dhamma, nu, ha, nu, zal, fatha, za, ha, fatha, ha. Notice the ha is here in the beginning form, like the beginning form. Why is it like that? Because the letter before it is not connecting. So if it's not connecting, it will become like this. It will become like this. Okay? Zaha ba fatha ba. Zaha ba. Fa fatha fa. Ha alif ha. Fa ha. Ra kasra sin sukun. Riz. Fa ha riz. Ba bama ha. Buh. Ta. Alif ta buh ta noon dhamma nu buh ta nu kaf dhamma ku ra fatha ra ku ra ta ta marbuta ta dhamma tu ku ra tu bad bad fatha ra sukun bar ba fatha ba bar ba ta dus aishi ta sukun ta dhamma tu Barbatu Qaf Fatha Qaf Sad 
صاد فتحة دال سكون صاد قصد تا ضمت تو قصد تو صاد فتحة ها سكون صه Also notice one thing when this ta it comes at the end it looks like ha without if it's but just it's having dots the only difference so it can be like this and it can be like this and it's only coming at the end of the word so just like ha can be like this and it can be it can be like this without dots just like that the even the ta can become like this and like this but it has dots okay so whenever anything that looks like ha at the end of the word has dots we know that it's ta marbuta okay now the second time ها ألف ها نون ضمة نو ها نو ذا الفتحة ذا ها فتحة ها ذا با فتحة با ذا با فا فتحة فا ها ألف ها فا ها را كسرة سين سكون رس فا ها رس با ضمة با ضمة ها سكون به تا ألف تا به تا نون ضمة نو به تا نو كاف ضمة كو را فتحة را كرة تا مربوطة تا ضمتو كرتو ضاد ألف را سكون ضر با فتحة با ضر با تا ضمتو ضر بتو قاف فتحة قا صاد صاد فتحة دال سكون صاد قصد تا ضمتو قصد تو صاد فتحة ها سكون صه the complication of Hamza. So writing Hamza is actually very complicated because it has more than four forms. Number one, it has more than four forms. And then it also depends on other things. To write Hamza, you need to know about other things that is beyond the scope of this course. So right now, all we can do is just look at the forms it takes. So they can be by itself. Hamza can be by itself. You know this. By itself, it looks like this. Then Hamza can be on top of an alif. If it's on top of an alif, it looks this is alif and this is hamza. And then underneath an alif, hamza can also be underneath an alif. And then on top of wow. And on top of ya, the ya won't have dots. If it's on top of a ya, then that means ya, ya will not have dots. So this is how Hamza will look. By itself, it looks like this. On top of an alif, underneath an alif, on top of a vowel, and on top of ya. And if it's on top of ya, the ya will not have dots. For identification while reading, just look for the Hamza symbol. Now what is the Hamza symbol? This. This we can see on top of alif, we can see below alif, we can see on top of vowel, and we can see on top of ya. This small symbol, this small Hamza. That's what we call the Hamza symbol. So while reading, just look out for Hamza symbol and you know how to pronounce Hamza when you see the Hamza symbol. Sheen Fatha Ya Sukun Shai. This is the this is the semi vowels that we learned about. I by Shai. Hamza, we can see that because there's a Hamza symbol and it's coming by itself. Hamza Fatha A. Shai A. Ba Kasra. Hamza Sukun. How do we know it's Hamza? We have Hamza over there, right on top. Be. Seen. Fatha Sa. Be Sa. Hamza. Alif. A. How do we know it's Hamza? It's coming on top of an Alif. Seen. Alif. Sa. Asa. Ta. Kasrati. Asa. Ti. Zal. Fatha. Za. Asa. Ti. Za. Ta. Dhamma. Tu. Asa. Ti. Za. Tu. Hamza again is coming below. This is on top, this is below. Hamza Kasra. And if you notice, when it's Kasra, it's coming below. And when it's Fatha, it's coming on top. That's one of the ways to differentiate. Now again, Hamza Kasra E. Ha Alif Ha E Ha Noon Fatha Ta Sukun. When there's a Sukun, we know that Ta Marbuta acts like an Ha. So Nah. E Ha Nah. Even if it's a Ta, when there's a Sukun, we know it acts like a Ha Sukun. So, iha na. Meem fatha lam sukun. Mal. Jim fatha ja. Mal ja. Alif. Look at this. This is alif, but this is actually a hamza. So, we'll ignore the alif and just tell hamza. Hamza fatha a. Mal ja a. Ra fatha ra. Hamza on top of an alif. Hamza fatha vow sukun. Aw. This is another of the semi vowel. Aw. Ra aw. عين كسرة باسكون عب 
Hamza by self. Hamza bama u. Ib u. Ib u. Ta fatha ta. Fa alif fa. Ta fa. Hamza fatha a. Ta fa a. Lam fatha la. Ta fa a la. Again. Sheen fatha ya sukun shay. Hamza fatha. Hamza fatha a. Shay a. Ba kasra. Hamza sukun b. So, seen fatha sa, b sa. Hamza fatha a, seen fat seen alif sa, a sa, ta kasra ti, a sa ti, zal fatha za, a sa ti za, ta dhamma tu, a sa ti za tu. Hamza kasra i, ha alif ha, i ha, noon fatha na, i ha na, noon fatha ta sukun na, i na. Iha na. Mim fatha lam sukun mal. Jim fatha ja mal ja. Hamza fatha a mal ja a. Ra fatha ra. Hamza hamza fatha wau sukun au ra au. Ain fatha ain kasra ba sukun ib. Hamza dama u ib u. Ta fatha ta fa alif fa ta fa. همزة فتحة أ تفا أ لام فتحة لا تفا لا. Alright, so with that we complete our lesson for today and yeah, see you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.